Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Lulu Code. Today, let's practice Play Code three nine nine. It's a medium label question, and it's called evaluate division. So, uh, you are given an array of variable pairs equations and an array of real numbers values, where equations i equals to a i and b i, and values of i represents the equation. A divided by B equals two variables at um, the position of I. Each AIN or BI is a string that represents a single variable. You are also given some queries where queries J equals to CJ and DJ represents the J query where you must find the answer for cj divided by dj and return the answer to all the queries if a single answer cannot be determined return negative one let's like see the example one as the equation we have a and b and the value here the first position or the first value in the values is two so that means a divided by b equals to two and the second one is we have a b c so b divided by c equals to three and we have given the queries a and c so what is the uh, value of a divided by c so from these two equation we know that a equals to 2b and b equals to 3c so we know that a equals to b and is the b we can substitute b with 3c so it equals to 2 with 3c so that is equals to 6c so the answer of a divided by c x is 6. so besides this the evaluations you can see that there are some um, variables or x that doesn't exist in the equation so if that is has this kind of number then we'll return negative one which means we cannot determine what is the number of x divided by x from the equation so we will return negative one here so from the first observation we are given two equation a b and b c and we are also given in query that is a c so we know that the first a comes from this the first equation and the c comes from the second equation they want to find what is the relationship between a and c it seems like we have to figure out how we can um, combine the first equation and the second equation so let's think about we can have like the a equals to so 3b I use the 3 here it means a equals to 3b and b equals to uh, oh sorry a equals to 2b and b equals to, to 3c so this is the first equation and this is the second equation and then we can combine them together it seems like it's a graph problem and then we can use the graph uh, data structure to solve this problem so we can like to like two jumps and then find out the relationship between the a and c for the graph there are multiple algorithms to solve the graph so we can have a different search or the perfect search or union find actually uh, the three of them can all be used to solve this problem um, but since there are already um, lots of videos in on the youtube to talk about the um, different search or buffer search solution i will focus on the union find uh, in my video okay now i'm going to talk about why we can use the union find to solve this problem so 
Uh, here I give an example where the equation is a, b, b, c, b, x, y, z. So first, let me draw the picture here. So I have an a, and it points to b. The multiplier is 2, or the weight is 2. And b points to c, and the weight is 3. And b points to x, and the weight is 2. And I have the y and z. Since y and z, um, they don't come next to the a, b, c, x. So I will have another part of the of the picture to draw this. Uh, y and z, the weight is five. So for the first query, a and c, I know that a equals to two b and b equals to three c. So I can have three c here so it is 6c so the first query a divided by c equals to 6 and for the second one c and x so we can know that although there is no direct relationship between cx c and x i can use the b x the intermediate um, variable to combine the c and x so here what i mean is the b equals to 3c and b also equals to 2x since b equals to b so i have 3c equals to 2x so the relationship between the c c and an x is obviously so I, so that is the answer of the second query and for for the third query it is c and y so c uh c is here and the y is here there is no direct or indirect pointer from the c to y and actually for this graph there are two separately subgroup the, so the first subgroup is here and the second subgroup is here so since these two are disconnected, we can never find a path from C to Y. So um, since we cannot decide the relationship between C and Y, so the third uh, query, the answer of the third query is negative one. So can you see that um, how we can use unified here is because with unified, we can decide whether two nodes connect to each other. And if these two nodes are connected to each other, we can always use some kind of a multiplication or division to find out the, two, the, the relationship between the two nodes. But if the two nodes are separately the, um, and they reside in different subgroups, it means they are they have different parent or root parent and and then we can just return negative one um after we know that we can use the union find to solve this problem and we can use the find function to find the parent of each node and decide whether these two nodes are connected to each other we have to also decide what is the weight of each node what i mean is like this one Okay, so I will just reuse the example to elaborate. Okay, so let's think about in this subgroup. First, in union find, we have to decide what is the root parent of this subgroup. In order to for a simple calculation, I will just like to use the the diverser as the as the parent of the equation. The equations here is the a and b. So first I want to union the a and b node together. The a is the dividend and the b is the divisor. I want to use the b as the parent node. And then the for the next equation, now I want to um, unify or union node b and node c. So from here, we know that A and B are one subgroup and C 
is another subgroup, and I want to union them together. And as what I said before, I want to use the div divisor to SD the parents node. So I would like to use a pointer to points from B to C, which means the C is my new node. The next equation is B points to X. But if you can remember that as the union find, we want to use the always use the parent node to merge with another parent node, which means the A and B and 6, they are one group. And for X, they are another subgroup, and we want to merge them together. So for the A and B and C, what is the parent node? It is the C. And for this X, the parent node is for itself. So when we want to merge them together, actually we want to have a pointer which points to from c points to x rather than from b points to x uh, after that i've already decided that the x here is my root parent of this subgroup so actually i want to re rewrite every number in this subgroup as a multiplication of the root parent so what I mean is like this, I want to use the a, x, a multiplication of x, and b is also a multiplication of x, c, and x. And after I have this multiplication already decided, and if the queries have like a divided by c, then I can use the numbers here to divide the numbers here. Okay, so um, now let me talk about how do we find out this multiplier. Okay, so in order to store the graph um, data and the structure, we will use the map. So in the map, the key is a node ID itself. Or here we can say for this one, the key is the A. And initially we will set each key to points to, or each node to points to itself, which means um, initially the parent of each node is itself. So it is A. And for the one, it means an A equals to one A. Also, we we'll have the B points to B1. So initially, it points to its parent, and that is itself, B. And B equals to B. So the weight here is 1. Since then, we want to merge A and B together and with a point with a weight of 2. So that means we like to update the parents of A to B, so in points to B, and the weight is 2. So that means B equals to 2B. And then for the second equation, the B, C part, we will initially have the C. And then we want to merge B and C. So we want to update the parents of B to points to C, right? And the weight now is 3. So now you maybe wonder, do we have to also update the node of A to replace the parent of A from B to C? Uh, yes, we will do it later. But now we will just keep its um, current value, which is B. Okay, now, now we, want to, we want to merge the B and X. Maybe we want to put this, but actually, the, the parent of B is C, so update the parent node because we always want to merge the parent node instead of the children node. So instead of this one, we'll want to have a pointer from C to X, two points from C to X, and with a number from this equation, we know that B 
equals to 3c. Or actually, it's not from the equation. It's from the table itself. So we from here, we know b, um, b equals to 3c. And from this equation, b and x, we know that b equals to 2x. So next, we want to find out a equals to one number, x equals to one number of c. So since b equals to b, so 3c equals to 2x. So the x equals to 3 over 2c. Oh no. I should use because the parents know this x now. So I want to describe c as a multiplication of x. So I should have like c equals to 2 over 3x. So here I want to put 2 over 3. Okay, so in the code, when I want to union the b and x, the first thing I would like to find out is why is the parent, let's call it the pb of, why is the parent of b? So I will call the function find of b now. And I also like to find the parent of x. And then Next, I will merge these two together. Update the parent of B, which is PB, and to make it update to points to parent of X. So that is PX. And then with kind of weights. So weights come from this calculation. This find function call, we will update the parent node in recursion way. So it is not obvious. Let's say if now we have a we have to find out the parent of a here, then we will check. So the as parent is b, and the the parent of b is c, and the parent of c is x. Then in the find uh, function, we will update the parent of a and then make it to points to x and with some weights. We will um, uh, get more understanding when you see the code implementation. And then for the next equation is y and z. So I first initialize as points to itself and then update the parents of y to parents of to z so the weight here so after we call the union in every equation then we have built this map table and then next we will call the find function on each query to find out if these two um, numbers in a query belongs to one subgroup and also we will get the weight of the number in each subgroup. So for the first query is A and C. So for the A and C, we will call the find function first of A and function of C. So here, like what I just say, when I call the find function, it will update this to the, the, the parent node to its root parent node. So it will update to the x and with some multiplication. From here, it is 2 multiplied by 3 and then multiplied by 2 over 3. So that is x and 1. So call the find a it will return x and one and find c will return the x and two over three. From the find function we find out x equals to x. So they belong to the one group, the same group.
and what is the number of a divide c so that is one divide by two over three so e is three over two and for the second query is just re um, repeat again so we need to find out the parent of c and the parent of x and also the weight of c and weight of x then we um, use the uh, weight of c to divide by weight of x to get the answer of this query and for the for the third query c and y when we call out the find c um the weight the parent node is x so find c it will return the x and 2 over 3 and when we call the find y it will return the z and 1 so since the parent node is different so it means it is disconnected so the answer is negative 1 okay so now let's um jump to the coding part to see um how we update the weight in the find recursion call and also to, let's see how we can calculate the weight in the union and also in the uh, find function okay now let's start coding so um, to solve this problem we need to have two function so the first function is the find function so the as the function we will return uh, we will pass in the uh, the node value the node id for example a or b or ac so that is in a string type and then after we code it it will return the tuple so the tuple is the uh, the parent id of the this node id which is also a string and then the weight so that is a float and after the find we also have to define a union function so for the union we will pass the dividend the divisor and the weight from the values so we have a dividend the string we will have a divisor and that is also a string and we have a weight so that is a float and we will return nothing from the union function so as y c say before we will use the map function or now we will use a map or in python is a dictionary to store the graph data structure So let's first finish the find function. So first, we will want to check if there is a node already the the node key in the map. If the the node doesn't execute the map, then we will initialize a tuple. So it means it, this node ID will point to itself. So the its parent the, the parent of node ID is itself and with a one as they wait. Now let's have the P. So P ID it means the parent ID and the, the weight or multiplier. Okay. So let's check if the parent of the node is the node itself. If, if that is not, then we will uh, call the find function 
and to find out what is the root parent of the current node. If so, here we will call the find function and pass in the parent ID to, to find out the parent ID of the parent ID. So that is the grandparent ID of the node ID. So what you return, it will return the parent ID. P-R-E-N and the parent width. And after we find out the weight and ID, we would like to update the, the parent ID of the current node to make it points to the root ID. So this is also a tuple. Here and one. Also, we want to uh, update the weight. So the weight is the weight of itself, and multiply by the weight of the parent. So what is that? That is because. So uh, let's think about um a situation like. Well, we have the A and it points to B and with a weight of 2 and we have the B and it points to C as a uh, with a weight of 3 so uh, the find of B function we like the function to return to C right because the C is the root parent of A so we want it to return as C and here what the num and what is the number or the ways you it wants to return because from this equation or appointments we know that A equals to B A equals to 2B and from this line we know that B equals to 3C. So we know that A should be equals to 2 multiplied by 3, 6. So um, here we should put 6 here. So that is why we want to have a multiplication of the weight and the parent weight. So the weight here is 2 and the parent weight here is 3. Okay. And after that, we want to return the parent ID and the weight of the node ID. Okay, and that is the find function. So now let's move to the union function. So for the union, first we will call the find function on the dividend and also on the divisor. After that, we will want to check if this um, the dividend and divisor belongs to one group. So we will check it by checking their parent ID. Then we have to uh, merge the dividend into the divisor. 
so how do we merge we will update the value in the map so it's dividend so we will update the, the value and when the key maps to the dividend parent id so we will uh, replace it as a the um, as the parent ID of divisor and what is the weight okay so the weight is okay so let me type it first and I will explain in a second So what is this? Uh, let's think about a situation. So let's consider it. Um, when the equation, there is an equation like a divided by two and equals to uh, a divided by b equals to two, two. and now in the map there are already xx some data which is the a it points to c and three it means the parent of a is c and with a weight of three and b points to f and six and for this equation now we want to merge a into b so it means we want to update the parents of C's to F. So we want to update this parent of C's now points to F and with the weight, what is the weight? So let's see. So from this equation, we know that um, A equals to 2B and from this equation we know that a equals to 3c and from this equation we line 36 we can know that the b equal to 6f so since a equals to a so we can have 2b equals to 3c so the B now is 2 over 3C and B is also equals to 6F. Uh, okay, here it should be over 2C and from 941 we have the, the B equals to uh, 6F. So now here we have the we can um, find the relationship between the C and F. So the C equals to two divided by three and multiply by six F. So let's see the six. Um, okay, let's start from the two. So two comes from the equation. So that is the weight. So that is a weight here and the divided by three. So what is three? So the three is the weight of the dividend. So it should divide by the dividend weight and then multiply by six. So what is the six? Six is the weight of the divisor. So multiply by divisive weight and that is the number of the updated weight when the parent is the divisor PID ID parent ID okay now after we finish the find and union part we can call them 
to start the evaluation. Uh, okay, so for the liver, then let's first construct the graph. So we will put the union on each of the equations. Then we will want we will have a rest list, so, and for every query, so first we want to check if the dividend and the divisor are in the query. If they are not in the query, we can just return negative one. Um, and then uh, if they are in in the map then we would like to check out their parents ID so we will check out by calling the find function And also, we'll call um, the divisor. Okay, and now let's check if they have the, the same parent ID. If they have the same parent ID, then we can have the calculation. So it should be the dividend divided by divisor. Wait. And in the end, we can return the result. Okay. Now let's run it. Divisor. Okay. See line forty four. Sorry, I think that dividend wait. Do you mean okay? It's accepted. So now let's submit. Okay, it passed. Okay. Thanks for watching. And if you like my video, don't forget to subscribe and leave a like. Thank you. See you next time.